Hello viewers and welcome to a brand new episode of Trash Talk on Lancer, Operation Solstice Rain Edition, the only one, where I talk stuff about mech. In this episode, Komaluma, from General Massive Systems. Komaluma, or Komalangma, is the Tibetan name for Mount Everest, which stands for Holy Mother, or Goddess Mother of the World. With such name placed onto the frame, the Komaluma is a tech support specialist designed to dominate the e-warfare aspect that the past Everest variants lack to watch over its allies. As Komaluma is an alternative variant of the Everest, you basically have it to go right at the start from the get-go. Anyway, let's take a look at the mech. Looking at its stat, the Komaluma has the same stat as Everest in size, health, evasion, speed, and heat cap, everything else however, is a little different. It has lower repair cap, but in exchange as a tech support platform, it has good save target, long sensor range, higher E defense, and tech attack, along with 7 base systems points. As for its traits, it has 3 of them. First, brilliance, for once per scene, Komaluma can take any quick tech for free, and then bolster or lock on for free, meaning it just has a whole ass full tech action for free, which is ridiculous. Second, data siphon, when Komaluma tech attack someone, they can also scan them for free, which is good because both new and veteran players rarely bother to use the scan action to know their enemies. And third, replaceable parts, you know what this does at this point, the Everest has it too. To sum it up, the Komaluma really wants to throw all the tech attack around, and with 15 sensor range, it can do that quite easily and safely, adding in replaceable parts, taking hits is less of a worry for Komaluma compared to other controller frame. Also it really really likes scanning. As for its weapon mount, it only has two, one main slash auxiliary, and one flex. Onto its core passive, the Komaluma actually comes with an unique invasion options package called the Advanced Intrusion Package. First, balance control lockout, push your target by two spaces in any direction and knock them prone, if they are already prone, break their legs, you may only immobilize each character once per scene this way. Second, system crusher, your target take an additional two heat for four heat, if this also push beyond their heat cap, they also take 4 burn, you can only use this once per scene on each character. As for its core power, Komaluma can activate wide area code pulse, with a full action, choose any number of hostile within sensor, ignoring invisibility and line of sight, and perform invade attack against all of them. On hit, apply invade effect as normal, on a miss, they still get impaired anyway because fuck them. With these core effects, this means that even with just its core passive, the Komaluma is quite devastating with its invade, adding in its core power, I think even goblin user would be quite jealous of the sheer chaos that will ensue. And that's all on the Komaluma, a tech support platform that is actually quite durable and is just as good on the support as it is on making the enemy yearns for death. Anyway, that's all for now, and I will see you all next time. Hello there, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell button. If you really want to support my channel, you could visit my Patreon page, or buy me some Kofi, links in the description. Anyway, have a nice day.